Next we are going to make countersink machining. So it is a little bit tricky, so I will show you in more details than other operations. So first of all I will copy and paste my previous whole machining operation. Next I will choose the tool for this. This is it. Conical mill. And next I'm going to adjust the job assignment. So the counters countersink bottom is here and the top of it is here. So everything seems to be fine. But if I press run, I can see on the simulation that just reset with workpiece, simulate up to current operation, I can see that nothing is happening. So let's take a look at what is happening here. I will make the workpiece semi-transparent in order to see in details what is happening now. So now we can see that the tool tip is going to go down until the bottom level of the job assignment, which is one millimeter depth from the top. Okay, here is the bottom level and now it goes up. We don't need this. We need to go, uh, we need uh, to, the tool to go further uh, down. And how do we do it? There are several, several ways, but I will show you the most correct, as I think, uh, how to adjust and avoid poss possible mistakes. So, we need to make a proper tool um, setup. I go to Tools window, and here I have Tooling, uh, uh, tooling tab. tab. And what I have here is contact point adjustment. I can set it to, let's say, height, for example. And now I can adjust the contact point. So the contact point is the point which will go down uh, to the down level of the job assignment, up to this level. So how to adjust the contact point correctly? So our tool has 45 degrees. This means that I need to find the level of uh, the contact point at which the tool, tool diameter will be 4.2 millimeters. If we have 45 degrees, it means that if diameter has 4.2 millimeters and radius has is 2.1 millimeters, the height will be also 2.1 millimeters. So I type here the height of the contact point 2.1 millimeters. Okay. As you can see somewhere here is 2.1 millimeters. We have 2.1 here and 2.1 here and 4.2 in diameter. So let's take a look what will happen now. I'll press reset and run. As you can see, the machining result is showing us that the countersink now is machined. Let's check it in simulation. So I will reset the workpiece, simulate up to current operation and press run. Adjust the speed of it, sorry, too fast. One more time. Okay, let's, opa. Too fast once again. Okay, here's the tool. And now it is going down, okay, and here's our countersink is being machined. So as you can see now the tooltip is going much more further and okay the tool contact point due to that due to the tool contact point is shifted now, okay. So fine, our, our counter sync machining is done.